Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Anushka and today we are going to talk about skincare. And I know like, you know, it's very weird to choose your skincare routine. But with skincare, we are also going to talk about chemical exfoliation, which is actually the point of this video. And uh, I think everyone is like really scared to use chemical exfoliation. And yeah, I'm here to help you with your chemical exfoliation starting point if you're a beginner and i don't know how to explain it but even i was a beginner and i have never been happier in my life when i have started using chemical exfoliator and look at my skin like i know i'm wearing makeup but i'm just wearing concealer and blush i'm not wearing full face of foundation and also i have seen results uh, from the first use of chemical exfoliator so i'm going to show you which chemical exfoliator i use and how i use it and why you should also start using chemical exfoliator and i'm also going to show my everyday skincare routine so let's just jump right into the video so guys here i have the dermaco beginner's peeling solution which is a chemical exfoliator because it has 5% glycolic acid 5% lactic acid 5% mandelic acid and 1% salic salicylic acid so it has 15% AHA which is glycolic lactic and mandelic acid and 1% BHA that is the salicylic acid now this claims that it is sulfate free dye free paraben free and mineral oil free so I think it is sulfate free because I'm allergic to sulfate and this had no reaction on my face so also like uh, it says everything on the bag that how you should use it also the ingredients are uh, right in the bag which is a great thing if you're buying it from their website you can definitely you know see uh, you know uh, what you can see yeah you can see the ingredient list right there which is a great thing because uh, the first three ingredients not the first three uh the second ingredient is glycolic acid the third is lactic acid and the fourth is mandelic acid and the first is water so you know that the first few ingredients are really important and it has those things and salicylic acid is like the seventh or the eighth ingredient but it is there so it's also one percentage so yeah this is the product that i use for my chemical exfoliation i'm gonna show you how i use my chemical exfoliator but let's read about some acids first because i'm gonna convince you by the end of this video why you should definitely use a chemical exfoliator so uh, this has five percent glycolic acid and glycolic acid is a water soluble alpha hydroxy that is acid that is aha made from sugarcane and they consist tiny molecules that are easy for your skin to absorb. When applied to the skin, glycolic acid works to break the bonds between outer layer of skin cells, including dead skin cells and the next skin cell layer. Uh, this creates a peeling effect that can make the skin appear smoother and even more. So glycolic acid basically, you know, like uh, uh, removes all the dead skin cells. And this is better than using a normal scrub why because in normal scrub you're just trying to tear your skin and with glycolic acid it's gonna peel it you know on its own and your skin has if you are someone with hyperpigmentation which every brown girl has trust me like i suffer with hyperpigmentation around my mouth and i haven't concealed my mouth honestly and i think that this has started working really good for me even uh the pigmentation is you know kind of like I'm not like, you know, trying to get rid of my darkness. It's just uh, giving me an even tone. That's what hyperpigmentation is when the areas of your skin are darker than the other areas. So I'm just trying to get that. And I think I, you know, used to scrub like twice a week and you're just supposed to use this once a week because it's a beginner solution. So I think it is better for me because I'm literally not rubbing scrub. Like I do scrub like really harshly because I just feel like I don't see a difference when I don't do it harshly but this is like so mild on your skin at the same time I know the acid word like triggers it, most of the people away because it's like acid you're putting acid on your face but it's like I think this is more milder than using those harsh scrubs because honestly I'm done with those scrubs I just use scrubs on my body now not on my face because I have seen a huge dif difference when I have stopped using the scrubs and also it's helping with my pores now let's read about lactic acid because i don't really know if this is helping with my pores but pores but this is the only thing that i have changed in my skincare routine 
since last two years and I have seen a difference and I don't change my skincare routine often. So lactic acid is an organic acid and uh, you know like let's read about yeah uh, okay yeah I found it. So it increases cell ten uh, turnover and el help eliminates accumulated dead skin on the epidermis that is the top layer of your skin. When using lactic acid in 12% concentration, the skin gets firmer and thicker. As a result, uh, there is an overall smoother appearance and fewer fine lines and wrinkles. So I think lactic acid is like retinol only, but retinol you're supposed to start using like 25 after you turn 25. Depends on, you know, who you are. But matlab, retinol is recommended after using, after you are 25. Yeah. So I think lactic acid is great because lactic acid is great for sensitive skin firstly i am someone with sensitive skin and lactic acid like you can use use pure lactic acid not pure but the one that minimalist cell and everything lactic acid is a great ingredient for someone with sensitive skin because it's not the most harsh acid and it helps balance out the ph levels and everything and i mean you know lactic acid is good for skin it's in milk and you know milk is really good for skin so at the end of the day lactic acid is you know overall good really good for your skin but i you know knew about lactic acid glycolic acid sal salicylic acid but what i didn't know about was mandelic acid and i was like okay uh what is mandelic acid which i'm actually searching right now because i didn't want to read everything in you know prior to this video because i wanted to find out everything myself so it actually helps with acne bacteria dead skin cells inflammation it helps with skin uh, skin texture wrinkles fine lines and hyperpigmentation so i think all of these things have same properties but together they enhance each other maybe yeah so also like dermaco is a brand that i can trust because it is like made by dermatologists so i think like every product that i'm going to show you in this video um is recommended to be uh, recommended to me by my dermatologist because honestly i have like severe allergy to everything mostly everything so i try not to you know use any other product that i uh that is like truly new and i use makeup i know like i use makeup a lot but i always use like two layers of barrier before I apply makeup on my skin so it is quite sensitive and I get inflammation a lot when like I am something is happening to my skin so if this was not suitable for my skin type I would not recommend it because I get to know what is not suiting my skin like instantly I have a toner that I don't use toner and I, I started using this toner from Biotique because everyone was like this is a really good toner it's affordable it's cheap but it did not suit me honestly i did not see a difference and it was also not the best toner i think for me personally because of my you know sensitive skin i might try the minimalist toner and if i do i'll get uh, give a review on it too but let's talk about this so mandelic acid we write the benefits now right uh, read about salicylic acid also i know salicylic acid is really great for you because I think I saw the the most like you know difference that I saw on my skin was my whiteheads. Um, I have I don't have blackheads and I don't have any major skin problems. I get breakouts really like you know I don't get breakouts that easily. I do have one right here which is like really small. It's like you know uh, hormonal, so I'm not like worried about that. But I don't get breakouts and I don't you know have more like a lot of skin problems but one thing that i do have is whiteheads and they are just not that you know easy to get rid of but after using this i saw a vast difference and i think that was because of salicylic acid because you know salicylic acid like reduce swelling redness and it unplugs unplugs the skin pores so that is like the key benefit of salicylic acid it unclogs pore and I think that's why my bite heads were like, you know, really less after I used this because I was like, oh my God, where are my white heads? They're just gone, gone, gone. So bye bye to white heads. And I really, really love using this product. Also, I'm just 
talking about it okay this is not like sponsored video like look at my subscribers it's not gonna be sponsored and i mean i actually love this i, I haven't used it like for a really long time but i know when a product is suiting my skin i know it because i suffer from so many problems like skin related problems again allergy wise so my skin reacts like in a second okay if something is not suiting me so i know that this suits me really well and if you're someone with sensitive skin you might try it out and you might love it and again um i'm gonna show you how i use this but i think i almost convinced you to buy this because it's like a really good really really good chemical exfoliant another one is the minimalist one and I haven't tried it, but everyone like the reviews are really good on it. So you can try that too. But I bought this one because it has like, you know, it is the beginner's peeling solution. So that is the thing that attracted me because I haven't used acids or I don't even use serums on my like, you know, in my daily routine. So I didn't want to, you know, start something new on my skin. Also, this says that you can use it twice a week. But if you are a beginner, really, I recommend you using it once a week only. Maybe once you f finish a whole bottle, maybe then you can use it. Let me show you the product. Oh my God, I didn't even show the product. I'm just showing you the box. So this actually came in a really good packaging from Dermaco. I don't have the box. And it was also, you know, like uh, this, uh, what is it called? This dropper was an, another part and I had like this cap on it. But let's just ignore that and let's see it. So this is the Dermaco peeling solution. And this is like red in color. It reminds me of the ordinary peeling solution because even that is in red color. But it's like a great product. Also, this bottle is made up of glass. So I'm going to keep it down because I'm scared that I'm going to break it. And you can see like I have used uh, not a lot, but you don't need a lot of it. I have used it four times. So I'm giving this review after a month because four weeks. So yeah, I've used this four times and yeah, I actually really like it. So I'm going to show you how I use this and yeah, after that, I'm going to show you my skincare routine. So that was my chem uh, chemical exfoliation 101. And, you know, it's actually really, really better to use this rather than using those harsh scrubs because it exfoliates better than harsh scrubs. And it's actually benefiting your face. Uh, whereas, you know, the harsh scrubs are only going to ruin your skin because you rub it, you know, like into your skin. And honestly... I haven't been using any masks uh, since I started using this because I didn't want to overwhelm my skin by introducing new things. Let me keep it down because I'm going to break the bottle. So I did not, I haven't started using masks right now. Like I do use masks, but I haven't started using, using them because I don't really have it figured out right now that if I should incorporate something more with this peeling solution, but I'm going to buy the minimalist uh, toner and uh, it's a uh, serum one of the serums i am uh, you know like attracted towards the vitamin c serum but i'm not sure about it if i do buy it and if my skincare routine changes even if it changes i'm gonna give you a review after maybe two months because honestly i need to see if it works for me like you know really works for me so maybe one month or two months i'm gonna try out the new skincare routine which i think i'm gonna start but if i do i'm gonna let you know and also Let's just jump into the demo portion of this video. My first step is to always clean my face and I use the Cetaphil Oily Face Cleanser. So I pat my face dry with a microfiber towel and it actually has really helped my skin. So then with a clean face, I start using the Dermaco peeling uh, solution and i take a good amount of it not like a lot but like a good amount to cover my whole face and i apply it evenly throughout my face leaving the under eye area obviously you don't want to put a chemical exfoliator under your eyes okay and yeah i apply a lot like i lather a lot of it on my nose because that is like the problem area that i want the exfoliator to work on the most and also i know i have a active acne but it's like really dried out so i was like okay it's okay uh, to use it and also i keep it for 
टेन मिनट्स ऑल्सो अनदर थिंग टू कीप इन माइंड इज टू आईट गेट अ टिंगलिंग फीलिंग विच इज़ लाइक रियली नॉर्मल बिकॉज यू हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड यूजिंग द प्रोडक्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन योर फेस एंड इवन वेन यू आर नॉट लाइक आई वॉज यूजिंग दिस फॉर द फोर्थ टाइम एंड आई वॉज हैविंग द टिंगलिंग सेंसेशन दैट्स बिकॉज इट्स वर्किंग ओके एंड इट्स लाइक नॉट अनबेरेबल इट्स लाइक रियली मिनिमम काइंड ऑफ टिंगलिंग एंड हेयर आई एम यूजिंग इट अगेन बिकॉज आई लेफ्ट अ फ्यू स्पॉट्स and yeah uh, that's it just wait for 10 minutes and then just wash it off with cold water usually in my skincare routine i use this treatment for my acne but today i'm not because after a chemical peel off you're not supposed to use any kind of treatment so i'm just using my moisturizer which i use on a daily basis and i'm going to lather it on really really nicely because after chemical exfoliation you want to really really lather on like moisturizer because it helps in you know bringing that uh, moisture like hydration back to your skin so i apply a lot of it and you can see my skin looks really good so yeah i'm like you know watching the video and i'm like oh my god my skin is good so you want to lather on good amount of moisturizer after you do a chemical exfoliator now this is the lip balm that i use and i think this is really basic but i think this is the best lip balm in like the whole world because i really love it and yeah i just use vaseline on my lips and that's it that's my whole skincare routine